Hello, today we're going to be reviewing the Bowman movie Soundwave. Um, it is great to have a Soundwave in the collection, because I have this is my first ever Soundwave to ever have. Well, minus the G1 reissue, but this is my first ever Soundwave. Well, that is in Studio Series that I've ever owned, or like a Chug Studio Series, I think that's what they call it. Generations one, because I never got the Siege of the Warf, well, I should say the Warf Cybertron Trilogy, Trilogy one. Never got him, because I didn't get into it until Legacy... Uh, even though now I'm starting to collect <laughs> Warf Cybertron stuff, uh, it's having a wonders on my on my wallet. Anyways, start off the figure. I want to start off with accessories. Also, let me take out. Oh my god! Let me take out the missile that comes with Ravage because I also have him. This will be a dou double review because why not? He comes with the the cannon that usually all Sonos have on their like shoulders and stuff. I don't, it can't really hold into his hand that well. It will be somewhat loose, but he can somewhat hold it still, but not great. That's because he comes with another gun that's an actual pew pew. That looks like an actual freaking gun, unlike the circular stuff that he usually gets, which is this. But I mean, it goes to the back. So that's fine. But he comes with this gun as well. Honestly, it's been a while since I've seen will be uh so i don't know if this is accurate to it but it might be i don't know but he, there it is looks pretty good like a pretty good rifle so yeah. these will just have well this will tap into one of the ports in the back i personally do it on this right side because that's where it is in most media so yeah. uh but before we do this let's get into the ravage uh before we get into Soundwave even more, let's get into Ravage a little bit. I will be taking off some of the missiles that he has and some of the back missiles and the missiles he comes with. Because they're in the bag somewhere, but they're very small and I don't know where they are. But here's Ravage. This cassette Ravage right now. But let's get him transformed up. So let's untab everything. Bring him out. You can see the head. And he is actually pretty good for... For how tiny he is, he's pretty cool. He's a nice little ravage. So, yeah. yeah. He's nice. And now my ravage finally has a home sound with chest. So that's good. <laughs> because I previously just had him on the shelf and my brother could get it and that's that wasn't good. So but now he has a home to fit in and he's still on the highest shelf that I own. So yeah, so, Ravage, I was about to say something. But um, the instructions say to port this into the belly of it when, if you don't have Soundwave, which that looks incredibly weird. I don't like it, very, very weird. And the instructions do say that to port it there. It looks very weird. Yeah, there's Ravage. I do like it. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely better than the Bayverse one. Because like, I know people like may like the Ravage Bayverse, but I really don't. I did not like that one eye that I believe it had. I believe it had only one eye. It just looked very weird. It did not look like a Jaguar. <laughs> Which is what Ravage is based on. This actually looks like an actual cat. The other one didn't. It just looked like a monster. But yeah, there he is. Pretty cool. He's got some articulation. He has some pinned areas. He can move freely. The upper arms are ball jointed. So yeah. Pretty neat. I'll he's a very nice little toy. Little 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 itty itty bitty figure. Let's put this back onto Soundwave. But like a comparison that I could do with him is the Spy Patrol one. Cause I did get it on Big Bad. The Spy Patrol. So yeah. <laughs> Nice little thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, there he is. But let's not focus on Soundwave. Soundwave. Let's not focus on Ravage. We'll focus on Soundwave. Um, let's get the accessories off. 
uh, him, yeah, he's very, very nice. I like him. Mostly, just the head sculpt in general. I like the head sculpt. It looks pretty cool, and it looks like Soundwave. Let me get the G1 ratio out so I can get him. Comparison on the head. There. It does look a lot like Soundwave, and a lot how like Soundwave would look on, on screen. Obviously, these were cameo uh, renders, but like I do hope that it stays like this because this is phenomenal. I like that as a head sculpt. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like it. His head is on a ball joint, so he can look pretty pretty well. Uh, he can look down, he can look up, he can rotate it all around, can move it pretty well. His arms can go up. They can't really go out. They can't really go out because it's this is blocking it. Uh, arm can go out. Because, but if you can actually move the shoulder, get more range. Not range, but like you're moving it with it. Opposed to him just doing this. So. Uh, has at least 90 degree bend and no wrist rotation. There's arm swivel and no wrist rotation because this goes in. Also, I like the open hands. Those are pretty cool. Move this up. We get some waist rotation. Nice. We get knee over 90 degree bend. Leg rotation. His leg can go. His leg can go that far out, which is pretty good. I can go back. Go f I can't really go forward. Let's flip this up. So yeah, looks weird. Then there's pivot. Pretty good pivot, and you can go a little bit up and back. But pretty good, pretty solid figure. So glad I got him. This was a birthday gift, <laughs> so yeah. He looks pretty good. I'm so happy to have a sound wave in the collection, just any sound wave in general. And I believe there will be a like a G1 sound wave, a leader G1 sound wave, in the new United line. So two so like sound wave has been in there two times. Already. What the fuck? <laughs> like, he's been in there two times already. Two times. And both G1, so. Yeah. We're gonna get into some comparison of the figure. Pretty cool. I like them. Let's get into some comparisons. Okay. Here we have him alongside Blue Jack. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Um. Obviously, some of his Voyager needs this as a deluxe, but I mean, pretty much same height, practically. Because Wojak is a little bit smaller than some Voyagers. Alongside the Series Series 100 Bumblebee. Pretty cool. Nice. I don't have any of the other Bumblebees. I only have this Bumblebee. From like the movie, the Rise of the Beast. I don't have any from the movie, movie because damn, those are expensive. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm alongside the Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. Uh, I have him over 38 because I don't have 38. You know, I had a chance to get 38, but also I believe this is the same mold as 38. So yeah, pretty cool. Do not have a. Uh, the movie Starscream, I'm going to put Coronation Starscream or just Earthrise Starscream because it's practically the same mold. But yeah, now let's get on to the transformation of Soundwave. Yeah. Okay, now transformation. I don't, like, I don't like transformation. I don't like it, but I will do it. Um, so I start off with Soundwave, the hardest one. Uh, we'll get to Ravage in a little bit. My thing is in the shot. That should not be in the shot. Anyways, Soundwave, we're going to do it. I don't like his transformation, but still a phenomenal figure. So we're gonna flip in the hands, like so. And then we're just gonna flip these panels up, move the whole arm up, and then flip this inside. And I'm not even half, I'm not even halfway through it and I already got a problem, fuck. 
Also, I must be saying a lot of F-bombs throughout this. I might because of this transformation. I do not like it. <sighs> okay, just stay there, please. Oh, my God. It's supposed to hook in there, but it's not hooking. Finally, it hooked. These arms are supposed to tab in to little pieces here, but they don't like to do that. A lot of this does not like to tab in together, which is just sucks. Anyways, open, open, open says me. Tab in. Okay. Then this. Tab, but it's not tabbing. Why won't you tab? Finally. There we go. It's supposed to look like this weird position. Rotate these. I'm already forgetting. Uh, I think if you do this. Flip these panels out. I'm remembering because I, I watched an MGO video right before this. Flip the feet up because I don't remember it and I don't really transform them that often because I don't like his transformation. I just, I just don't like it. It's just, I should, I, bleh. It's poo poo. Anyways, make sure it bends all the way. Flip this down because this will tab into the other one. And this is where it starts to get all finicky and not want to stay together. Because the feet will tab into here, but then it doesn't really line up properly. <sighs> Everything does not like to line up. It's supposed to tab into there, but it doesn't. It'll just sit there. <clears throat> I swear, I don't like this one bit. Anyways, that's as far as I'm going to get into it without it destroying itself. Let me get this panel out, flip with this. Yeah, it doesn't look that difficult, but holy crap, I don't like it. It looks like a pancake, though. <laughs> or Luke Skywalker's binoculars. Or the one that everyone likes, um, the uh, Green Goblin's glider. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice. I'm just gonna leave it here. Just gonna rest it there. So yeah. Now we're gonna get to the Ravage transformation. Pretty easy. Flipping this. Make sure there's clearance because like this will not be great. So what you wanna do? Flip those up and these will go in. Then flip these up so that the tail can go in. Flip that in. Uh, make sure the, the front arms, the front legs are out of the way. Then there's a little tab, a little tab into here. So yeah, do the same thing for the other side. Yeah. It's, it's just, okay. Then tab, you also see right on me, that's paint. Because I was doing something. I don't think it's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> okay, that looks better. Okay. These tab in. And then, yeah. I think that's how it's supposed to look. I hope. But anyways, you grab Sonic Wave, open the chest, and then he'll just go in there. Go sleep. Yeah, there you go, there's Sonic Wave. There's his alt mode, his pancake alt mode, you just have these on. Right here. If it'll tap, it just doesn't want to fucking tab. This one will tap into here. 
Boom, there we go. I got the weird pancake thing. It looks so freaking weird. I don't like it. <laughs> it is set on Cybertron, so it's fine. But yeah, here it is. He looks weird. I don't like it. Also, underneath, he looks so, so weird. But yeah, there it is. There's his pancake form. Um, it's gone to the comparison of the of the other alt modes. Alongside the 86 Starscream or Starscream. So yeah. Pretty cool. Size 2D series wheeljack. So yeah. Nice. Alongside the Bumblebee. The Studio Series 100 Bumblebee. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, here we have him alongside the Studio Series 102 Bumblebee. So, yes. Pretty cool. Nice. Uh, hello. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know that stop motion wasn't great. I am trying to get better at stop motion. Uh, the reason I'm doing stop motions now is because my friend, well, I would not say their name. I would try to keep it a secret. Uh, they wanted me to do stop motion at the beginning of every of my videos. And I know some YouTubers do that. I know, I think a pretty popular one is the Lazy Eyebrow. Um, I guess he just didn't know. So, yeah. Uh, that's the reason why I'm doing stop motions now. And the Lazy Eyebrows tutorial videos actually showed me how to somewhat do stop motion. So, yeah. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.